Joining me now, Vivek Ramaswamy, 2024 Republican presidential candidate. Vivek, great to see you in studio. What do you think's going on here? Like, is a contingency plan sure. among the Democrats being seriously considered, given all these little guideposts this week? Absolutely. And I've been saying this for a long time, Laura. I don't think they're going to let President Biden run against someone like me in a general election. The contrast would be too stark. And I think that's what these charges are all about, right? You see, right when Biden's popularity begins to dip, that's when they bring that first indictment. Not in the real thing that they should indict Hunter Biden for, but for the, fe for the felony gun charges, not the foreign selling off I of our foreign that. policy I think I like quite that. yet. I think I like that tweet. And so, that so I think that the, what they're going to do is the documents case, that's hanging and that's hovering too. They're going to pull that out when Biden refuses to step aside. That's when the deep state, the federal police state, exercises their leverage over him. And that's a two for one for them because they then get to legitimize their prosecution of Trump, claiming that it's even handed across partisan boundaries, when in fact the real divide isn't partisan at all. It is between the managerial class in the deep state and the everyday citizen. What do you mean when you say managerial class? I mean the people who were never elected, actually. The people who... The bureaucrats. We, the bureaucrats. I call them bureaucrats. Is that I mean, your generation? You call them managerial state? You know, we can... Multiple okay. different words. Shadow I'm government, just, deep I'm state, three-letter agencies. It's a Friday night. I'm trying to tease you. You know, Vivek. it's... It, Vivek, you're on point all the time. You, you got know, your points. We, we're, right. this, we're, we're serious subject yeah, matter I here, got, Laura, um, so... So, Vivek, when you look at you, where you are, where DeSantis yeah. is, you guys are kind of neck and neck, and then you got Trump. Altogether, you all are about 84 percent of the Republican electorate. So I was dying laughing this week when Romney's up there, God bless him, and he's talking about how he's retiring. And he's saying, well, essentially, I'm paraphrasing, when the party returns to, you know, its old base, its old clear, <laughs> clear principles, then there'll be room for people like me. You guys are 84% of the party. That's yeah. a populist, more, you know, America-focused yes. party. So I do think the America First movement is the new Republican yeah, there Party. Is, the old guard is gone, right? The old guard is gone. Yeah. And in fact, much of the Democratic Party is, I think, now taking some chapter and verse out of that old-school Republican Party when it comes to foreign policy and other issues. But I do think the America First movement is the only way forward for the Republican Party. And I think we have a legitimate debate, Laura, around who's going to be best positioned to carry that banner forward. But I think the data are clear. The three of us are speaking, actually, at an event later tonight, which is why I'm in D.C. Yeah, so Trump that is, is the future there. of so the Republican Trump, Party. Do you like, when you see him, do you kind of chit-chat with him for a while? We'll see if we see each other backstage. You know, we, we're, we're friendly. How are you doing, Vivek? You're looking good. <laughs> Love your hair. Love you know, I, 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 like, I like both those guys in this yeah. race, and I respect aspects about both of them. I do think it will take somebody to reach young voters to win this in a landslide. Why don't you drop out and just support Trump? Well, frankly, I think I can, I can unite this country in a way that I think no one else can. He's up 45 points on you and DeSantis. Well, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just doing yeah. the devil's advocate thing. Yeah, you, it's fair you enough. Hear that among I hear some, you. You're you doing your job. You hear that among Trump supporters yeah. who are like, we love Vivek, we love Ron, they're both Governor DeSantis. They're um, both, I mean, Vivek, you're, you're new to this game. You're a young guy, you're new to this game. Ron DeSantis is tested. He's a tested guy. But... Both of you together, I mean, if you, Look, both if you both dropped out and just said, you know, Donald Trump is obviously the guy most people want, and we, we're going to put our country before ourselves, we're going to support him. Well, the fact of the matter is I think the country is best off when we have a vigorous, legitimate debate within our party about who's going to best carry forward that agenda. And I think, Laura, this can't be a 50.1 election. I don't think we have that in us as a country. No, you and I have hit that we're before. We're skating it's on thin ice. It's got to be a wave. And I think that we're bringing young people along, the next generation along. I think for a long time we have been running from something. Now is our moment to start running to something. And I think being a true outsider in this race, and I think you only get to be an outsider you, once, no. is my advantage. Now, and I think people are going to want that. They love hitting you. Like they, yeah, they I say do. they. Who's they? Well, Business Insider. They had this report on you this week. And they say former employees said that you used to have them set the thermostats at 64 degrees and you were ridic you ridiculed the idea of summer Fridays. I love that, that you ridic I hate the whole summer Friday <laughs> dress. You it wants white glove service from staffers, meaning you have a high bar, and thinks people are not put on this earth to serve him. I don't get, get I, oh, put, put, people are on this earth to serve him. <laughs> so. You know, people are hitting you. You're neurotic, you're, you're mercurial, and you're a paranoid leader. Do any of those things describe you? You know, I think that that's a pretty unfair characterization, but there's some truth to the fact that I am very demanding, Laura, of the people around me. I work 18-hour days. They've said that of me, too, Vivek. <laughs> well, Sam, don't say anything. My rule of thumb is I don't hold anybody to a sta standard that I don't hold myself, you but those hard. are high standards. You work hard. And you and don't you achieve things in this hard. country without hard work. 
that is an American value, and I don't apologize for and it. And you're never going to turn liberal. You're going to. Nope. You're never going to be pro-China, <laughs> right? You're never going to, you know, be someone dead set. That... Dead set for this country. Part of what gets us ahead in this country is hard work and dedication. Put the citizens of this country first. I don't talk to Zelensky. I'd rather talk to Maui. That's the kind of American president I'm looking to be. They, I think it's what we need. It's great to have you in studio, man. It's I good to see you. See in studio, yeah, first right? time in yeah, person. Exactly. Yeah. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.